Welcome to Unai's Thursday press conference. Throw us a little spanner in the works every now and again. Uh, welcome to the channel. If you are new, subscribe, drop this video a like and get involved in the comments section on everything that Unai's had to say and all of the talking points. We've got predicted lineup, which will be coming out tomorrow morning as well. So stay tuned for that with me and Justin. But team news, early team news, pretty much what we expected. Bailey out, Cash out, Kamara out and Coutinho out. Um, it does feel like Kamara was rushed back a bit maybe for Chelsea. Um, and now with three games in a week, Saturday, Brentford, Tuesday, Fulham, Sunday, United. I'd say two of those players in particular look like they're not going to feature much now this season in Coutinho and Kamara. Uh, Bailey and Cash, hopefully they'll be back in and around the squad, but it does look like maybe Kamara and Coutinho are just... No point rushing them back, is there, I don't think. There's no point really rushing them and, and, and getting a, another potential injury, so... I think especially with Kamara, we know that he came back for Chelsea and then he's picked up something else. I think we need to just wrap him up now because he had that big one at the start of the season. He's now had this one as well. So uh, that's my vibe on uh, the injury news. So what's the main man been saying? Because this is my favourite episode, one of my favourite episodes of the week. Not that I don't like all the other guys that come on the show, but just when I hear Unai talk, you stop, you listen, you take notes. And you assess what he says because I'm just absolutely loving him. I'm absolutely loving him. I was loving him when he was doing the tactics, but to the chant of uh, Unai Henry's Claret and Blue Army. Oh, it's just class. And, you know, he, he's great and I absolutely love him. And I can't wait for the game. I'm going to be at the G Tech. Can't wait for it. Um, going down early on Friday. So tomorrow, uh, we're watching a show on the night, a podcast show. Um, and then we're going to be at the game as well. So really looking forward to the weekend. So enough of that. Let's get into it. Uh, Emery on recent form then. So you have to work being positive, being demanding. And now we are here. We are here, Unai. And we don't want to stay here. We're going that way, mate. Uh, we have to continue to be demanding. And we are very excited with the challenge we have in front of us. And Everywhere you turn, there's positivity, there's noise, there's Ming's talking really well, Ramsey talking well, Watkins talking. You're looking at the buzz around the uh, South American lot that we've got, the camaraderie, the team spirit. I'm expecting big things on Saturday. I hope we can turn up. I hope we can get that win. I hope we put in another massive monster performance. Uh, Emery... Uh, has been speaking, he's saying that the most important thing is to be humble. What this means is we can improve more and we and we can play better. Um, we I, I spoke about the, the fan base remaining humble in the match preview as well and, you know, not sort of like... And I, and I think because where we've come from, the fan base understand the journey and we're very, like, level-headed and we, we just, we're just loving Villa at the minute and as opposed to like certain sets of fans, the Newcastle fans, who were giving it the big one all week before we played them. I think we're a bit different to them in the sense of we're a bit more understanding and we just, yeah, better fan base, better fan base. Um, so, yeah, I think the players have got to be humble. Um, and I think they are. I think I think the players know where they've come from. You know, they know that they've had a poor manager for a bit of the season they know how much this manager's improved them. They all want to play in the Champions League. They all want to play in Europe. They all want to play international football. They won't get a better chance than what they've got right now. If they can take this chance and seize this moment and just stay on this level, that is what I'm hoping for. Stay on this level that we're on now and we will achieve Europe. I am 100% sure of it. Uh, I think we can... Claw back Spurs. I really think we can finish above Spurs. And then that leaves fifth, sixth, seventh still open to Brighton, Liverpool and us. So I think we can do it. Uh, Emery's asked what it's uh, what he liked most about the win over Newcastle. I only like to analyse and to improve. It was our best performance at home during my time here. But 
it's not enough. Yes, Unai. Search for more, mate. Search for more. Let's just keep turning them little, unravel them little areas that we can all improve on because we're not resting. We're not resting on our laurels. We can be better. We can improve. And that's the sign of a really good manager. And the players will know it. The players will be thinking, oh, we've won, but now, now he wants us to do this. And it's all part of it. So I'm absolutely loving it. Uh, we are producing good performances, but Brentford on Saturday is one of the most difficult challenges we will face because they are a very good side and they've got a really good tactician in their dugout as well. Uh, we can't stop. We have to keep being consistent and demanding. And of course, a little bit critical to try and get better with some of the tactical work. Uh, and then he's also said that the players are aware. I don't want to relax or stop as well myself. I have to be the same, coaching each match and analysing each match. And it just sounds like he's on it and the players are on it. And, oh, I'm loving it. Uh, we have to remember every day that we are winning because we are being demanding, consistent and respectful with our idea and our demands. And if there's one person that is going to keep these players on track, online, with the correct mentality... It is Unai Emery because he's not just saying stuff like we were brilliant and blah, 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 and then that's it. He's demanding more and he wants more. And he, I think he's fully aware of the, the players listening and understanding that we've got to keep going. We can't just think we've made it. And like I said at the start of this episode, I absolutely love listening to him. And it was a brilliant press conference. And again, he's come out and said all of the right things. So... You know, I guess we've worked really hard this week on how we can beat Brentford and it's it's down to the players now to just stick to the game plan and have the exact same core beliefs and principles of what we've had against Newcastle United and I'm expecting a real tough game because me and Justin have done the predicted lineup and we've had a look a little bit more tactically what we can expect and it is going to be a really, really tough game. So, uh but we are banging form and can we make it six wins in a row? Let's go for it, Villa fans. So, yeah, I'm, I'm loving it still. Loving life as a Villa fan. The fan base is brilliant. The support on this channel is just absolutely remarkable. So thank you all for being so supportive, uh, getting involved in the comment sections, etc. So, uh, yeah, we will be back tomorrow for our predicted lineup. And then we'll have a fan cam after the game as well. So I am at the game. So there won't be two episodes on Saturday night. I don't think so. Um, I'll make sure I get you one out on Saturday night as well. And then quick fire turnaround for the Fulham game as well. So it's one of them where quite a lot of content in a couple of days. So you're all here for it though, aren't you? So you all love it. So up the Villa, up the Unai Emery. Enjoy the predicting lineup tomorrow.